hey there my fellow content creators welcome to this tutorial today i'm gonna show you an amazing website where you can do pretty much everything you want to do with stable diffusion in just two clicks you don't need any kind of say, coding skills you don't need to debug anything it's already done for you and it's called diffusionhub.io i'm on this website and once you come on this website you're gonna get 30 minutes for free i currently have already logged in and i have kind of already tried out this website so today i'm gonna give you a tutorial on how you can use roop with stable diffusion so once you have logged in you all you need to do is just click two buttons to start running stable diffusion and that's how easy is this so i have approximately nine dollars i'm just gonna use a faster gpu for this tutorial but you can start with the basic one and when you log in you will have 0.5 dollars already inside your account and you're just gonna use it you can use stable diffusion for free for 30 minutes so i'm just gonna launch this so one of the really good things about this website is that it has all the checkpoints that we need it has various lora it has textual inversions it has a uh, control net already installed it has roop installed it has various scripts already installed so i'm just wait for my instance to get ready so as you can see our stable diffusion has started running there is no term terminal but you don't need a terminal it's already all there whatever you want if you're starting a your stable diffusion journey this is the perfect way to start so i'm just gonna select pick realism this is an amazing checkpoint for realistic images and today i'm gonna teach you how to use roop and how you can use your face images to create an ai generated image using just one image so as you can see down here roop extension is already installed you don't need to worry about anything all you have to do is just drag and drop your file so i'm just gonna drop my file over here so my file is ready and as you can see i have selected an image where the face is kind of clear but this is not the best example which i can show you but uh i think this is one of the good images even though the lighting is not good a lot of things matter when you're selecting your input image so just make sure your face is not entirely covered and the lighting is somewhat okay so i'm just gonna use this image as my base image for roop so i have my prompt ready i'll just copy paste it from here and uh, as you can see in my prompt the starting few sentences i will talk about the subject at the end i will talk about the entire vibe of the subject and at the end i've added a laura and where you can find these lauras you can come to your laura tab and then you can see add detail laura if you want to add a laura you can just do it like this this is where you can find Laura and there you can find your textual inversions too. So I've used these two textual inversions. For the sampling method, I'm just going to select Euler A and I'm just going to play around with the sample settings a little. I just want a 2 by 3 image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this 768, which is 2 by 3. And I think everything is set up. Just make sure you have checked in the enable tab so that your roof will start running. And then I'm just going to click on generate and then let's see how long this takes. I've selected a faster GPU, so this should work really fast. So, yep, as you can see, this this generation was pretty fast. As you already know, Roop will not directly create a face from your input image. What it will do is basically swap that face with that image. And you can see there are a lot of similarities. You can see kind of the cheekbone is there, the eyes are there, even the eyebrows are pretty similar with the lips as well. But this is not the best image, we are just going to generate a little more. As you can see with this generation, we have got a really really good face similarity with our input image that we are looking for. And the eyes are pretty similar, the eyebrows are pretty similar, even the nose is really similar. And you can see like... There is a blush below her cheekbones and that kind of really matches with the face. One thing that you have to keep in mind that this is not a Laura. This is just a simple face swap tool. So just make sure that the hair and your the body type is not going to be similar. So you can just use your good prompting to make sure that you are very close to the subject. And with this, I think the root tutorial is over make sure to check out diffusionhub.io to get your free 30 minutes and start running and start using roop and create your own images also one more thing uh once you want to terminate just click on close your session and just click on yes and then it will just close your session also make sure that you save your files and uh, this is it i think yep i'll see you soon